Body bags will horror lies. Welcome to Body Bags. It's week 108. It's Saturday. I'm Odd Sutter 365. Hello! And the movie I've chosen to talk about this week is from 2006 and it's called The Graveyard. Let the games begin. So what's it about, Dave? Well, The Graveyard. At Placid Pine Cemetery, a group of friends play a game of run for your life. But as high spirits get out of control, one of the party is killed in a tragic accident. After spending five years in jail for murder, Billy is released on parole. But Billy isn't released on parole. It's Bobby, but they've written Billy on the back here. The lack of caring. Um, he joins the rest of the group at Camp Placid Pines as they try to bring some level of closure to the misfortune that befell on them five years earlier. But the group are terrorized by a masked killer with a taste for revenge. Can they work out who the killer is and what their motives are? The answer may lie in the Placid Pines graveyard. Now, if Placid Pines and Camp Placid Pines sounds familiar, and you haven't seen this movie, if it sounds familiar to it, it should, because this was meant to be part three in the Bloody Murder um, franchise or movie series. Just two movies doesn't make it a franchise, does it? Anyway, this was meant to be part three, but at the end they went, ah, fuck it, let's just call it The Graveyard. Um, those movies are pretty kind of forgettable, except for Tiffany Shepard's. Uh, they're pretty forgettable. Um, but they're okay. They're all right. Yeah, I don't mind them. I watch them. They're slashers. So, yeah, this is a slasher. Um, and, yeah, that's the story. I think there's six friends that um, they are out in a cemetery at night playing Run For Your Life. They're a bit too old to be playing that fucking game, in my opinion, but... Uh, they're out doing that, and one of them, I think it's Eric, uh, the character, he's kind of being chased by one of the other guys, Bobby, not fucking Billy, and um, he ends up tripping and falling and getting impaled on um, those kind of two metal bars of the gate of the cemetery that were leaning kind of forward like this, very dangerous, and he fucking got impaled and we ran in, fucking dead. Um, so, Bobby... Uh, takes the rap and he goes to prison for five years for manslaughter and um, Michelle one of the other characters in the movie she goes to his parole hearing and testifies that it was an accident and etc and that um, you know uh, helps him go on his uh, probation release I guess so uh, and they decide to go back to the scene of the crime literally um, so they go back to the the graveyard but beside the graveyard there's a summer camp from the bloody murder movies um, camp placid pines like why why would there be a fucking summer camp for kids or teens or whatever beside a fucking graveyard you know but what the fuck um so yeah when they get there one of the characters um jack brings his girlfriend um and she's the first one that uh kind of disappeared they're not all kind of happy to see each other and none of them kind of come across or maybe Michelle does, but none of them come across as kind of decent characters or people that you're kind of interested in. Uh, Jack is the jock kind of asshole guy, you know, who's just all talking about banging the girl, and then he does bang the girl, his girlfriend, and then he's telling everyone that he's banging the girlfriend, and then he's trying... She's the first one to go missing, and he's not worried. He's just trying to bang one of the other girls uh, because she's gone away, because that's Jack. And... Um, yeah, then one of the other girls, her ex-girlfriend, just shows up uh, very briefly and causes a bit of a panic and stuff because she's having a problem with the breakup. She disappears, and then she's next to get the fucking chop. Uh, Jack's girlfriend didn't go missing. She got fucking done over. She got slashed. And, um, yeah, and then kind of one by one, they, you know, they, they start getting knocked off, and they're trying to find out who the, who the, who the slasher is and the mask and stuff. I mean, it's... It's a slasher at a summer camp. Again, you know, we like these movies, but it's not the most original of things, and there's no point in going too deep into the story because we know the fucking story. And, of course, the killer is relieved, revealed um, kind of close to the end, and um, it has a fairly crap ending, actually, I have to say to this. Um, not very well done at all. And um, what else to say about the movie? It's okay. It's watchable. It's not particularly good. Um... The score, soundtrack stuff is okay. Um, there, You don't really see... A lot of the kills are off-screen, and you see the kind of reactions to the kills rather than seeing 
them kind of take place. They're not that well done. It is a low-budget movie. Um, it lacks a lot of suspense. It lacks a lot of intrigue. It doesn't. It didn't draw me in. I really kind of didn't care about any of the characters, and it seemed to kind of jolt in sections of, say, action or suspense, lack thereof, but still there. And then there was just loads of filler, and then a little bit more, and then loads of filler, and you kind of have worked out what's going to happen at the end there is a kind of a showdown at the end which is one of the slowest worst choreographed fight kind of things that i've i've seen in a few years it was pretty bad um and anything else worth kind of mentioning or talking about i don't really think so um uh, no i not i don't think so it's um yeah that's it it's it's meant to be part three in the bloody murder um movies but it's because it's just based at the location that's about it um and i guess it's an okay movie so it probably you know it, it would have fit in perfectly fine it would have fit in perfectly fine as a as a part three to it and whatnot so yeah that's it um stop rambling about it um movie scale eh you know marks out of whatever eh Thanks very much for checking out the review. I'm outside the 365. I've been talking about the graveyard, and uh, I'll be back with another review soon. See ya.